Hey guys, this question recently came up on the Cantabile forum about how to use uh, one MIDI controller in two programs at the same time using MIDI controller in Cantabile and Adore simultaneously. So I thought I'd knock together a quick video on how to do this. And the trick to it is to use a virtual MIDI cable. So the one I like to use is called Loop MIDI. And when you install it, you can you can get it straight from the website. It's pretty easy to find. Just Loop MIDI and it'll be this first hit here. Just download and install that. And when you run it, it'll come up like this. It will have created one default port at the as its default configuration. You can just delete that and let's just call one called program A and another one called program B. So these will be two virtual cables that will connect between a program that we'll use for routing and our two programs. So program A might be Cantabile, program B could be his door. I think he's using Mixcraft in this case. Okay, so set that up. You can then just close this window and then what we need is we need a program that can do the routing. Now one option would be to use something like Boehm's MIDI translator. You can see they've got a program here called MIDI Translator Pro. That would be one way to do it but Cantabile can actually do that itself so I'm going to show you how to set that up. So the easiest way to do that is just right click on Cantabile shortcut, sorry in here and choose open file location and right click on here and choose create shortcut and what that'll do is create a new shortcut on your desktop and if we go into the properties for this and edit the target on the end we can put a command line called config and then whatever we want to call it so let's call this router now what what we're doing here is we're setting up a new separate set of settings for Cantabile which uh, lets you run multiple instances of this with different configurations at the same time. So in this case, we're going to be using Cantabile just as a router to route those to one keyboard to two different places. So let's turn that on router and then just run this. You'll see it'll come up like a brand new run. So I'm just going to choose a license. Next. Now we don't need any audio for this version of Cantabile. We just want uh, MIDI routing. So let's just choose null audio. Uh, we don't need any audio ports configured. We'll come back to this. In, actually, let's set it up now. So let's just, um, what do we need? We just need an output port, one for program A. So let's turn that on. And another one for program B. Okay, so what we've said now is we've created two MIDI ports inside Cantabile, which are going to drive those two virtual MIDI cable ports that we just created. Okay. Next, we don't need any plugins and we're done. So let's just to make this a bit distinctive, let's get rid of those and I'll just go into options and let's just set that to light so we can separate it from our other Cantabile. All right, so we've now got Cantabile running. You can see it says here router, so this is running under the router configuration. And then all we need to do is create routes for <coughs> whichever, um, devices we want. So I'm just going to route from the on-screen keyboard and send it to program A and the on-screen keyboard and send it to program B. So now if I bring up the keyboard you'll see we're just playing notes here and they're going to both devices. Now what you would typically do is replace this with the actual device of your MIDI keyboard so that incoming MIDI from that device gets sent to these two virtual MIDI cables. So now to use this, all we do is I'm just going to bring up another instance of Cantabile, my regular instance. And if I go into options here and set the main keyboard's input to come from program A, that will work as per normal. And then if I just add an object in here, piano, just turn it down because it tends to be a bit loud. You'll see that I can play it from here and that's coming from the on-screen keyboard through program A. You can see that both of those are lighting up there and it's coming into this program A uh, main keyboard here. Okay, so as far as Cantabile is concerned, this instance of Cantabile is concerned, this is just coming from a device called program A. This is sending to multiple instances. And then you just need to repeat this process in your other program, Mixcraft in the original poster's question um, to read from program B and you're now routing this one keyboard to two different places. Okay, great.